All right, in this lesson, we're gonna talk about importing resources into Substance Painter. So how do we import resources? You can do it one of two ways. You can either go up to the File button here and say Import Resources, or you can go to the bottom left-hand part of the screen in this little plus icon and click Import Resources this way. Either way, you're gonna bring up this dialog box. Now, this dialog box will import anything from Substance Materials, the SBSAR files. You can bring in Smart Materials. I showed you how to export Smart Materials. You can bring them in this way. You can bring in still images for textures, for alphas. If you export brushes out of Photoshop, you can import custom brushes here as well. So this is kind of the catch-all for importing anything into your scene. Uh, in our case, we're not going to import anything too fancy. I'm just going to import this image of a cow with sunglasses on. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in here. And the first thing I want to do is I want to click Add Resources. I'm going to navigate to where this is located. So it's just an Adobe stock image. I'm just going to go ahead and import this. And then say we want to... Um, so it comes in with the file name. But we can add an optional prefix path to this, which will put it in a folder. Um, so for this, this is gonna, I can use this as one of my logos. So I'll add this to my logo area. And so it's also helpful when I'm searching. If I, it's basically, I use it for like, it'll show up in my searches when I use the little filter at the top. So that's the first thing you wanna do. You wanna say how you wanna look for it. Then in this section, you want to be able to identify it by what it is. It's either an alpha, uh, in this case, it's either an alpha channel or a texture. You can also bring in environments or color uh, lookup tables. Um, but for, for the most part, when you're bringing in images, you just want to choose if you want it to be in your alphas tab, generally a black and white image, or your texture tab if it's going to have color to it. For me, I'm going to add this one to my alphas because it's just a black and white image. And then what I want to do is decide how I want to import this. So your options are current session, your project, or the library as a whole. Um, the current session will just import it into this session of Painter. And once you close it down, it won't be available in your asset panel anymore it'll still be available on your object but just not in your assets uh your current project is every time you open this file in substance painter it will be there and your library is if you wanted to open every single time you always open it up in here so uh for this one i'm just gonna just do it for our current session click import and the cool thing is, is it'll be now be down here in the bottom left hand part of our screen and so what i can do now is just take this and drag and drop it onto our character and for this one, I'll just add it as the base color. And now you can see we've got our little icon of the little cow on there now. So it's a really great way. Again, um, out of the gate, that import resources dialog is not the uh, most intuitive thing. But the thing is, it's really powerful and allows you to import in exactly the ways that you would need to for Substance Painter. So once you get kind of used to it, it does become second nature. But um, it is it is a really handy resource to be aware of.